Wouldn't it be great to have slides being shown in Ableton Live directly and sync those up to the music? Yes, it's possible now. Hi, I'm Toby from AbletonDrama.com and I created a few Macs for Live devices which uh, lets you set up slides being synced. So for example, lyrics being displayed on your main monitor, on a second monitor, or if you're using a Mac with Sidecar, even on an iPad. So there are other apps for um, doing that as well if you have an older iPad like me. So um, what you can do, and this is for, this is like the landscape option here. I have a device which is A4 for sheet music as well. Just have a look in the video descriptions for the links to those devices. So those are Macs for Live devices, meaning they can only open if you own um, Max for Life, which is included in the Ableton Live suite or can be bought as an add-on to Ableton Live standard. Okay, so um, we have the slide display device and you can open this on a MIDI track. It's a MIDI device and there we go. And you can open the slide, obviously that's a little bit too small, so you can set up the zoom down below here. You can go very detailed, so if you want to do something like 4.5, you can do this down here and then you can press S for saving the position, so the position now will be saved. If you're using a second screen on stage or an iPad which is not connected or some, something, you might want to press reset window position when you're opening up Ableton Live and then just reset the window to where you need it on a second screen as I said so or maybe on this screen so maybe let's put this a little bit to make this a little bit smaller so now you need to select um, different slides different images and this will only work with JPEG or with PNG files so you will need the slides pick device here you can use multiple devices of the slides big uh, slides pick um, selecting uh, different uh, folders here if you need to so uh, and then automate this but I just going to use one folder here for showing purposes so you press on folder and then you select the folder so I have a folder here with the lyrics for smells like teen spirits and now all those jpegs are being in here and you have a menu where you can select those and obviously you can automate those now as well okay so you can automate this menu here um, selecting the different slides you got in here or you can um, set up um, different midi notes to trigger into this track or those buttons here to select next or previous so that's all you can do here so let's set this up via the menu first so let's create a midi clip it's a midi device here again so if i have slides pick selected and then select some select chart envelope here so i now can set breakpoints here and i'm just quickly going to do this have one breakpoint here selecting slide one and then slide two and it's a bit fiddly because it's so small you can um, right click on a breakpoint here edit value and just put in a number here as well so it's starting from zero zero one two and so on and so forth so that's a bit um, irritating maybe sometimes because it's starting not at one anyway so we put in uh, number three in here and maybe later on putting in number four so we now have those different slides being selected by those breakpoints here so if i play this clip you can see they are being selected depending where you set the automations to so obviously this will work in arrangement view here as well so how do i do this let's set this to this side here and now um I can go into this track here, select slide pick, um, select chart, and then set breakpoints here as well, and select the different slides or the different images I have in here. So when I'm here now, oh, that's quite long. So if I play this a little faster, you can see when it's coming to this point, 
it will select the next slide or the slide which is being selected via the automation here. Cool. So obviously you can have more devices um, holding or nesting different pictures in here. You need to make sure that um, you have all the um, slides and all the pictures in the folder in the right not in the right order necessarily but having all of them you want to use with this one device when you start setting this up because if you change stuff um, afterwards if you are deleting stuff um, it will break the automation and the information which is being stored in the device so once you selected the folder make sure that it's at the right place and it needs to stay at the right place obviously so if i delete this folder here or if it's if i put this somewhere else um, the device can't access those different um, pictures and this different folder here so make sure to have this at a safe place where you're gonna keep this okay cool so if you're gonna use more devices here you can automate devices on and off and select um, which um, image should should be selected so if you have more devices in here always the first one will load always the first picture so it's always on one so if you then select uh, current it will always load the first page in here so uh, let me just show you you can select next here as well you can midi map or key map those buttons here or you can route midi straight into here as well so for example if i use my computer keyboard as a midi input so my e minus two this is the note i just sent in so i have press s for syncing so it's waiting for the next midi note to be mapped so i just hit a different key or a different MIDI note is coming in. So D minus two now will trigger the next slide. So if I'm putting a D minus two in, it will trigger the next slide or previous will be triggered, can be triggered as well via a different MIDI note. So this way you can um, automate this device to be turned on or if it's a folder for your first set for example with like I don't know up to 100 slides um, can be displayed in the menu but you can have more slides in there if you want to but the menu will on only hold um, only hold a hundred images so um, if I now um, turn this on and say I have um, the first one being selected which is doing that per default so let's trigger the first one maybe via c minus two so um, i can now set this to notes and trigger a note c minus two let's maybe set this not at the very start because at the very start i want to switch the device on let's set this maybe a little bit after the play clip play start and then i can trigger next note via the second button here which is let's set this to c sharp minus two so c sharp minus two will now select the next page always so if i select uh, put a note here and a note here and a note here it will trigger the next note so this way um, let's save this melts like teen spirits done so now i can save this um whole set maybe let's place this up here press s as well so if i reload this ableton live set now which is called test it will open up and zoom in to the size you selected to the position you selected here and i can now play this um, part here and it's a little bit too fast for changing obviously the slides wouldn't change that fast so let's do this once more i select i open up this live set i just changed the tempo it's opening up and it will select um, the first page here and then the next one the next one the next one you can see this via this notes down below 
here. Okay, cool. So I hope um, this will help a lot of people. It's a really low cost option here to have lyrics or different slides. Maybe you're gonna have some uh, charts you have for songs or whatever. Um, you can put those in here or little reminders popping up if you need to uh, for your set because you can automate the um, window here as well. If you need to, you can have multiple devices even and have those being displayed on multiple screens so if you can if you want to put this somewhere else this is possible so if you have um, multiple people who need the lyrics or uh, notes or whatever you can do this here as well cool so take care um, check out the device link is in the video description take care bye bye